Hello, my lovelies. Melissa from Metropolitan Cosmetics. Today, I'm going to talk to you about choices. And when we make the right ones, things change. There's transformation, there's evolution. But like we always say, when you know better, you do better. Just in summary, what we're covering today is how to burn fat, right? How to quicken your metabolism, how to get into your stores, how to become lethal in the gym and develop a shape and form that you never dreamed of. And the reason why I put it to you that way is because it is right within everyone's reach, no matter your age, no matter your size, no matter your level of fitness, because when you know a couple of home truths and scientific facts and you work with them, the change is inevitable. The only thing you need is faith, belief, discipline, consistency, and get in the game. The products I'm going to talk to you about, they are available at Metropolitan, is the Skinny Coffee, Skinny Green Coffee, and the Skinny Green Tea. I adore these products. They assist and facilitate me. You don't just drink a tea or drink a coffee and get a result. This is not what I'm talking about. I once had a, a family member who, when they were little, thought that if I was on diet and I ate a lot of the trim mayonnaise, it would make me thin. Eating a lot of trim mayonnaise will never make you thin. And drinking a lot of skinny coffee and and skinny green tea will never make you thin. What it's going to do, it's a tool in your toolbox to do what we've got to do. So to begin with, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how this works. And then from there, I'm going to talk about how to work with these products that are beautiful. So to begin with, I want you to think of yourself as a racing car. If you don't feel like one now, you're going to be one. So let us think of ourselves as a Formula One racing car, but with a difference. This racing car is a hybrid racing car, which means it can burn fuel and it can go electrical. It can switch over from one system to another. So if you're such an entity, you have something called metabolic adjustability. That means you're so in tune, I can switch, I can have a bowl of pasta, not a problem. It's not gonna affect me badly, but I switch over back into ketosis. I am fine-tuned from one to the other. Generally, I stay in, keto in ketosis, but if I want to have some little nice pasta or something a little clean, I can eat a carb. It's not gonna be a big problem, but I switch over immediately. That's the first principle. You can do both. I want you to think of something else. Think about a fire. We're making a little fire. The first fire, we don't have much in the form of resource to get it going. Only got a wee bit of kindling. Oh, just a nasty little bit of kindling. Give it a light, Pew, lots of smoke, burns very, very hot and very quick and very poorly. That's how you burn when you eat carbs. Very short, very quick, very poorly with lots of carcinogenics. Those things that we don't want in the body. The byproducts that cause debilitation, breakdown in processes in the body, carcinogenic effect. I want you to think of a big log. We light the log. It burns strong and long and there's no smoke. That's ketosis. And that's what we want. So how do we do it? Okay, so when you're gonna burn with carbohydrates, quick and not so good and dirty, you're eating lots of carbs. What are carbohydrates? If you're eating too much potatoes and rice and bread, I call bread glue. Have you ever taken a piece of bread and done this? It becomes glue, it's like paper mache. Okay, all of this kind of thing, rice and pastas and whatnot with lots of sauce and, okay. That's what's going on there. When I'm eating high protein, clean protein, when, and not in big quantities, the right amounts at the right time, with the right oils, the clean oils, the avocado oil, the olive oil, all the good ones, 
I go into ketosis. Deep ketosis means the following. It means that your body is no longer burning carbohydrates or glucose for energy. When you are burning carbohydrates and glucose for energy, you are spiking insulin. When you spike insulin all the time, you just store this nice little fatty layer all over you, making you look a little Michelin man. This is what's happening. We become little Michelin man or roly poly rotund. We don't want it, not at all. The only way you can get into your stores to burn Michelin man fat, greases that have built up over time, you can only go into your stores if you're in ketosis. If you are a carbohydrate burning machine, okay, and you are not restricting your calories and you're burning, spiking insulin, you can never, ever get into your stores. You can bend over backwards. You can stand on your head. It is never going to happen. When you are in deep ketosis, your body naturally burns differently. It burns ketones instead of glucose. And when you do that, you go into the stores. You burn your own fat. You melt. It happens naturally. It's not even hard work. You could do it over a wee cup of skinny green tea, but I'll get to that in a moment. So that is what ketosis is about. I then talk to you about hormones. There are two hormones. There's something called ghrelin and leptin. Think of ghrelin as the gremlin. The ghrelin gremlin, when you always eat in carbohydrates, always says, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. He's telling me I'm hungry all the time. I just finished eating the chips. I'm hungry for the milkshake. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Where's leptin? Leptin says, you're not hungry, you're satisfied. And where is leptin at its best? Ketosis. You're never hungry. You're never looking to fill the gap on and on. When you switch over, you might, when you full carb eating, it can be a bit tricky. Hang in there, hang in there, hang in there. You're sailing. So that's what I wanted to tell you about. Now, that being said, when you take a product like Skinny Green Coffee, this is beautifully packaged. Health product, not a diet product. We're not taking something chemical hoping it's going to do it for me. Remember, anything that's in a pill that makes promises to you, that's people taking drugs for exercise, whatever, people that are dysmorphic, it's never going to work. It has to come from within. It has to be the correct balance that the body wants. This is the only sustainable way that you can become the champ, the champion that you are, and that, and that racing car that you are. You know, it's beautiful. It's not even difficult. It becomes a real doddle. So skinny green coffee is the following. Raw, green, unroasted coffee. Caffeine's a very good thing. Caffeine speeds up your metabolism, provided you don't have too much. But why I love this green coffee is the caffeine in it comes from the unroasted raw green coffee. It has alkaloids, natural alkaloids in place that allow the benefits of caffeine, the fat burning benefits, the sharp focus benefits without the jitters, without, where if you're caffeine sensitive, you will not be sensitive to this natural caffeine and that's brilliant. So the caffeine and the chlorogenic acid will increase the metabolism. Remember, if you are eating, eating gremlin, ghrelin things, you are so slow. We're gonna get, we gotta get it up. We gotta get, we gotta get warm. We gotta get hot. We gotta get the things going. And what I do before I train, I take a green coffee. I don't like it in a mug. You know, if you're having like a, like a lemon tea and you have a beautiful glass, I like it in a glass. So I put mine in a glass. I like to put a little bit of fat-free milk in and a little bit of xylitol. I like it like that. You can have it neat. It's gorgeous. So what am I doing? I am taking my fat cell. Fat cells, you don't get more fat cells. They just get bigger. Shrink. We want to shrink. So that's called lipolysis. It causes fat cells to shrink to release their fat and inhibits lipogenesis, them storing. Okay. Then there's something called raspberry ketones. Whenever we take ketones that we didn't burn naturally inside, when you're burning your own ketones, you're burning your own fat. But when you're taking ketones, raspberry ketones in the coffee, you're taking something called exogenous ketones. So in other words, before you train, you want fuel. So instead of eating a carbohydrate like noshing on a banana, 
okay, that's going to spike your insulin. You rather take ketones that will not spike your insulin. And as a result, you become a fat burning machine when you train, okay, fat burning machine. You get some supply, some boost from those raspberry ketones. And whilst you're doing that, it promotes further ketosis while you train and you go further into your stores. We like that. Yerbe mate is a compound, a natural compound that is a polyphenol, that is antioxidant, and then evodiamine is thermogenic. Will not give you the jitters. It's like having the chili effect without the burn. So it increases your temperature, increases your metabolism. I like to, I sometimes have three a day. They, they say two a day, but I got no problem because I love coffee. I love coffee. And this is divine. So you've got 14 in here, 210 rands. It's a must. Then skinny green tea is so sedate. Green tea is beautiful because it has something called EGCG, very powerful polyphenols, very good for the skin, good for the kidneys, good for the lymph, um, good for your lungs. Do you know that if, if there's lots of carcinogenic problems in the lungs of smoking or vaping or all this type of thing, firstly, we should stop that. Achtung, and, we, and this will help. Clear, clear, clear. Another favorite thing of mine in this is chromium picolinate. It's so brilliant. It suppresses appetite. It helps leptin do better. It keeps gremlin or ghrelin in the corner. We don't want you here. You're in the corner. And it's so gorgeous because it's not bitter. Some cheaper green teas are bitter. This is not bitter. It's so soft and smooth. And so I like a beautiful pot of this during the day whilst I'm concentrating. So there you have it. I want you to be the champion that you are. And if you like this video, please put it in the comments. If you have any further questions on how to, how to eat, what's good, what's not good, you need more direction, put it in those comments. And I'll be sure to come back to you on that. And in the meantime, I'll see you in the gym.